What's up guys? Are you ready for a new learning? I'm going to teach you as fast and as clear as possible. Our topic for today is about perfect square trinomial. To determine if the given is an example of perfect square trinomial, we need to consider two things. One, the first and last terms must be both perfect squares. Two, the second term must be equal to the product of two, the base of the first term, and the base of the last term. Let's try this example. x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let's check first if this is an example of perfect square trinomial. Are the first term and last term are both perfect squares? Yes, x squared is a perfect square and 4 is also a perfect square. Now, to check the second condition, we need to put the first term and last term in their squared form. x squared is already in its squared form and the squared form of 4 is 2 squared. Now, let's multiply the constant value to the base of the first term and the base of the last term. Since the result is equal to the second term of the given, meaning x squared plus 4x plus 4 is an example of perfect square trinomial. To factor perfect square trinomial, just follow these steps. First, prepare this parenthesis. We use the addition operation here because we are just copying the operation before the second term in our original given. Next, we're going to copy the base of the first term, then the base of the last term. Now we have our final answer. The factored form of perfect square trinomial x squared plus 4x plus 4 is the quantity of x plus 2 squared. Another one. Let's have another example x squared plus 7x plus 5. Are the first term and last term are both perfect squares? The last term is not a perfect square, meaning this is not a perfect square trinomial. Let's try another one. x squared plus 5x plus 9. Are the first term and last term are both perfect squares? Yes, x squared and 9 are both perfect squares. Now, to check the second condition, we need to put the first term and last term in their squared form. The squared form of x squared is x squared, and the squared form of 9 is 3 squared. Now, let's multiply the constant value to the base of the first term and the base of the last term. As we can see, the result is not equivalent to the second term of the original given. Meaning, x squared plus 5x plus 9 is not a perfect square trinomial. Let's try another one. y squared minus 6y plus 9. Are the first term and last term are both perfect squares? Yes, y squared and 9 are both perfect squares. Now, to check the second condition, we need to put the first term and last term in their squared form. The squared form of y squared is y squared, and the squared form of 9 is 3 squared. Now, let's multiply the constant value to the base of the first term and the base of the last term. As we can see, the product 6y is the same to the second term. Meaning, y squared minus 6y plus 9 is an example of perfect square trinomial. To factor perfect square trinomial, just follow these steps. First, prepare this parenthesis. We use subtraction here because we're just copying the operation before the second term in the original given. Next, we're going to copy the base of the first term, 
and the base of the last term. Now, we have our final answer. The factored form of y squared minus 6y plus 9 is the quantity of y minus 3 squared. Another one. For my last example, let's try a trinomial that has a numerical coefficient on the first term. Let's check the conditions first. Are the first term and last term are both perfect squares? Yes, 4y squared is a perfect square and 1 is also a perfect square. Now, to check the second condition, we need to put the first term and last term in their squared form. The squared form of 4y squared is the quantity of 2y squared. And the squared form of 1 is 1 squared. Now, let's multiply the constant value to the base of the first term and the base of the last term. Since the product 4y is the same with the second term, meaning 4y squared plus 4y plus 1 is an example of perfect square trinomial. So to factor perfect square trinomial, prepare this parenthesis. Make sure the operation in the parenthesis is the same with the operation before the second term in the given trinomial. Then copy the base of the first term and the base of the last term. And our final answer is the quantity of 2y plus 1 squared. And that's how we factor perfect square trinomial. If you like this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe. What we do here is go back.